The bow and the stern for each other yearn, and the lack of interval shows. Myths have long shadowed the design history of the 255-foot class. These cutters were to have been a much longer ship, and two theories persist as to why they were shortened. The first is that these cutters were built to replace the ships given to Great Britain under land lease, and Congress stipulated that the Coast Guard had to build these replacement cutters to the same size and characteristics as those provided to the British. The second is that their length was determined by the maximum length that could pass through the locks of the Welland Canal from the Great Lakes to the St. Lawrence River. The Great Lakes shipbuilding industry brought pressure to bear on Congress to ensure that it had potential to bid on these contracts. The first theory seems to be correct, but the second theory cannot be ruled out. The Coast Guard had prepared a design for a 316-foot cutter that was to have been at Astaire 327. This design was cut down into the 255-foot chip. To accomplish this, everything had to be squeezed down and automated to a degree not before achieved in turboelectric driven chips. The machinery design of the 255s was compact and innovative, but overly complex. It had a pilot house control, variable rate burners, and automatic synchronizing between the turbo generator and the motor. Westinghouse engineers develop a system of synchronization and variable frequency drive for main propulsion auxiliary equipment, which kept the pumps and other items about two-thirds the power required for constant frequency operation. The combined engine room boiler room was a break from tradition. Wasco X Oneida WPG 39 WHEC 39 built by Western Pipe and Steel Company San Pedro California Keel weight 17 November 1943 launched 18 June 1944 commission 18 May 1945 decommissioned 27 June 1973 sold October 1974 Winnebago WPG-40 WHEC-40 built by Western Pipe and Steel Company San Pedro, California Keel laid 1 December 1943 launched 2 June 1944 commissioned 21 June 1945 decommissioned 27 February 1973 sold 7 October 1974 Chautauqua WHEC 41 WPG 41 built by Western Pipe and Steel Company San Pedro California Keel laid 22 December 1943 launched 14 May 1944 commissioned 4 August 1945 decommissioned 1 August 1973 Sebago X Wachusetts WPG 42 WHEC 42 built by Western Pipe and Steel Company San Pedro California keel was laid 7 June 1943 launched 28 May 1944 commissioned 20 September 1945 she was decommissioned 29 February 1972 and transferred to Merad 14 April 1972 Iroquois WHEC 43 WPG 343 built by Western Pipe and Steel Company San Pedro California keel laid 19 June 44 launch 22 October 44 commission 9 February 1946 decommed 13 January 1965 after breaking her back going into Midway sold 1 June 1965 
Wachusetts, X Huron, WHE44, WPG44, built by Western Pipe and Steel Company, San Pedro, California. Keel laid 3 July 1944, launched 5 November 1944, commission 23 March 1946. She was decom 30 August 1973, sold 18 November 1974. Escanaba X Otsego WHEC 64 WPG 64 Built by Western Pipe and Steel Company, San Pedro, California. Keel Aid 25 October 1944. Launched 25 March 1945. Commission 20 March 1946. Decommissioned 28 June 1974. Winona, WHEC 65, WPG 65, built by Western Pipe and Steel Company, San Pedro, California. Keel laid 8 November 1944, launched 22 April 1945, commissioned 19 April 1946, decommissioned 31 May 1974. Klamath, WHEC 66, WPG 66, built by Western Pipe and Steel Company, San Pedro, California. Keel laid 13 December 1944, launched 2 September 1945, commissioned 19 June 1946, decommissioned 1 May 1973, sold 18 November 1974. Minnetonka X Sunapee WHEC 67 WPG 67 Built by Western Pipe and Steel Company, San Pedro, California Keel Aid 26 December 1944 Launched 21 November 1945 Commissioned 11 June 1946 Decommissioned 31 May 1974 Andros Coggan, WHEC 68, WPG 68, built by Western Pipe and Steel Company, San Pedro, California. Keel laid 30 December 1944, launched 16 September 1945, commissioned 26 September 1946, decommissioned 27 February 1973, sold 7 October 1974. Mendota, WHEC 69, WPG 69, built by the Coast Guard Yard, Curtis Bay, Maryland. Keel laid 5 June 1943, launched 29 February 1944, commissioned 2 June 1945, decommissioned 1 November 1973. Ponchar Train, X Okeechobee, WHEC 70, WPG 70, built by Coast Guard Yard, Curtis Bay, Maryland, Keel Aid 5 June 1943, launched 29 February 1944, commissioned 28 June 1945, decommissioned 19 October 1973. And now in closing, a few statistics about the 255s. Displacement tons 1,978. Length 254 foot. Beam 43 feet 1 inch. Draft 17 feet 3 inches. Machinery main engine 1 Westinghouse electric motor driven by a turbine generator. Main boilers 2 Foster Wheeler drum top fired express type 635 psi. 
750 degrees superheated. Shaft horsepower, 4,000 total. Performance, 17 knots, 6,157 mile radius. 10 knots, 10,376 miles radius. They had a fuel oil capacity of 141,775 gallons. Their complement, 10 officers, 3 warrants, 130 enlisted men in 1966.